Benedict XVI will travel to Croatia on June 4th and 5th. During his two-day visit, he will preside over the National Day of Croatian Catholic Families. This is the first trip that Benedict XVI has made to the country as Pope. However, he visited twice before while he was Cardinal. The Pope will arrive at the Zagreb airport on the morning of Saturday, June 4th. He plans to give a speech directed toward the entire nation. He will also be received by the President, Ivo Josipovic, the Cardinal of Zagreb, Josip Bozanic, and the President of the Croatian Episcopal Conference, Archbishop Marin Skracic. The President of Croatia is an avid music lover, and the Pope plans to give him a copy of a song's manuscript from the Vatican Library. Benedict XVI will be staying at the Croatian Nunciature, which was built 20 years ago after the country's independence from Yugoslavia. There, he will be received by the Prime Minister Jadranka Koser. In the afternoon, in the Croatian National Theater, Benedict XVI will meet with representatives from local organizations, politicians, entrepreneurs, diplomats, and leaders of other religions. In total, he will meet with around 700 people. It will be the only ecumenical meeting for the trip. After the meeting, Benedict XVI will meet with 50,000 young people in the central square of Zagreb. He will give away a gold rosary to the Virgin Mary. The meeting will end with a Eucharistic adoration. On Sunday, June 5th, the Pope will preside over the Day of Croatian Families. It will be at a local racetrack, which holds around 300,000 people. In the afternoon, he will visit the famous Cathedral of Zagreb, which has a neo-Gothic style, and where the blessed Alizoji Stepanich is buried. He was sentenced to 16 years in prison by a communist court. Here, the bishops, priests, and seminarians will pray the Vespers together. Of the 4.5 million people in Croatia, 89% are Catholic, agnostics make up 6%, and 2% practice Islam.